sense to what made me an offer I could not refuse. And in all honesty, I didn't want to refuse it because I wanted one since they came out. Phenomenal gun. And I think there's quite a few people of degrees, definitely, the godfather of all their rifles, even though it's not old. It's the S510 carbine by Air Arms. It's the walnut edition in right hand. Amazing. The only word you can use for them, amazing. So I'll, I'll do my best without going all wobbly and quivery lipped because they are just so amazing. It's emotional, definitely. So, back end. Static, not adjustable, but very, very shoulderable. And it's perforating recoil pad into the right hand cheek plate. Being a right handed shooter. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful marketry and checkery. I don't think there's any other guns have got anything like this on them. It's not laser etched, it doesn't look laser etched. It's proper, proper quality and I, I, I can't stop touching it and fondling it, it's that nice. So we'll keep moving forward. Trigger guard, very nice, very adjustable trigger with safety button on there. So easy, so sweet, just everything about it out of the factory. You can start shooting it straight away. Brings you up to the side lever cycle. Lovely and smooth, nothing tight about it. And so exact. Unbelievable, unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah, I do like the air arms. Just like I like the tactical. But these, uh, they're another level gun. Just another level altogether. So you're onto your block, you get a 10 shot magazine. This is 177. Very straightforward. Pull it back, that loads in that way so that you've got the slot to the front. That sits up to the breech, that's it, done. It's reasonably quiet at the moment. Running it on the hawk. 6x24 by 50 so because it's 50 yards plus this thing there's no point shooting at 20 yards although I will do in a minute just to give you some idea of the accuracy but I think I'd be just as well with a 20 foot long piece of bamboo poking holes into the target because it's that accurate at that distance you know but just so people can see got about a 500 barrel it's shrouded built in moderator but as you can see, I've gone for a Donny FL fat boy with an air stripper, but that's because I've started take, taking this out better distances, so I want some clear air around the pellet when it's exiting. That's at the front end. I've, I've got it on a straightforward buffalo adjustable cam bipod. And a beautiful gluing on the cylinder. Not seen anything like it before. Very nice, very nice indeed. So on the uh, fill adapter, as you like access, unscrew that. Typical air arms fill adapter with the T piece on the end. Just put it on, turn it, fill it, take note of what's going on. On the manometer here, everything about it's been really well thought through. Been really, really well thought through. So can't really think if there's anything else I can tell you other than it's around about 950 millimetres long. Yeah, I'm not sure what weight it is because it's got the FL, uh, the Donny on it with the airstrip, but not sure what that weighs. This has put a bit of weight on, but it's still really light. Then it is a carbine. It's, it's not as short as you had, you'd expect, but when you carry it, when you shoulder it, it's shoot, palm point perfect. You know, it's all checkered to let you know these little fleur de lis are absolutely beautiful with the marketry that's been put into it so yeah let's get it on a little 20 yarder and then we'll get it out at your orders on the 50 later on so thanks a lot see you tomorrow so let's see what she's capable of then already loaded this goes in really quite easy that's your lot safety's on the trigger like i said earlier 
So let's see how we get on. I'll go for the center first. 719. Not bad. 719 feet per second. 719. Seven hundred twenty-one. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll put a few magazines to it, see what it's got to say on the chronograph. Seven hundred twenty-four. Seven hundred twenty-four. Seven hundred twenty-four. Seven hundred twenty-four. Seven hundred three. That would be at seven hundred and three. Seven hundred twenty-four. That's consistent, is. Seven hundred twenty-four. No blowing air. Too much fun already. So I'll leave her back. And slide down. These are so easy to load. One of the easiest ones on the market next to us, a Broyer. And away we go already, look. Up a target, I think, this time. Let's see what happens here. Seven hundred twenty-six. Seven hundred twelve. Seven hundred twenty-six. Seven hundred seventeen. I hope. 710 724 724 Am I going to blow air? Oh, no, I didn't. 28 I should have been a bit more cautious with that shot. I thought it was 10. Nah, that one is blowing air, still having too much fun. Um, yeah, very impressive rifles, super accurate. Now, I didn't want to own up to Yoda, but I've always liked these. I like my tacticals, don't get me wrong. I like my bull pups, I like all their rifles, it doesn't really matter what they are, as long as they work and they're not rubbish. Now, I could name a couple of them that make themselves out to be a hell of a lot more than what they are. But there's no need for that. And I'm sure Burns will speed this bit up anyway, so he can't hear the fucking word I'm saying. There's one coming up that's going to be interesting soon now. And that's the Snow Peak PR. 900 regulated Gen 2, also SMK, it's under that name as well, the SMK PR 900. Oh, it's a treat, hell of a budget gun, but we're a little bit higher up here with this. Because, in all honesty, you're going to find these at around about £900 mark. But if you want a rifle that's, that you'll love forever, basically, and you've got a few quid to spend, a little bit more than your average gun. Go for one of these, because basically you're getting a gun that will shoot you a £2,000, £3,000 gun, or be equivalent any day of the week. You know, they're ridiculously accurate. And I know what it's like at longer distances as well. Phenomenal. Right, let's go for the bottom one. Ooh. 719. 
728. I'm actually aiming for the hole, not the ball, because the first one went low. 726. 726. 728. Bit of 719. 728. 731. 728. Oh. Right. We've put six magazines to it up to now on one fill. It's a 190 bar fill on this. It's still got some power left in it. Yeah. Barely down to 150 bar. So we're probably going to get at least a couple more magazines out of it. Possibly three. So I reckon you're looking sweet on 80 shots easily. So don't be surprised if you're looking at more like 100 and that you've got good accuracy. Anyway, next time you're going to see it, it'll be on the 50 yarder. And let's see how it's been performing for now. Yeah, this is from four magazines. High's been 731 feet per second, low's been 698 feet per second. Average has been 721 feet per second. It's been a spread of 33 feet per second and a standard deviation of 6.7 feet per second, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, super accurate. Fairly consistent. I've shot more consistent, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter one bit because what you're losing consistency, you're gaining accuracy. And I have yet to find one as accurate. So, see you in a bit on the 50 yarder. Take care. Cheers. Bye.